Well, hey guys, I have a two pack of LED bulbs to show you here. What's so special about these? Well, it cost one dollar for the package here. So that's 50 cents per LED bulb. That's the cheapest price I've ever seen, a store-bought LED bulb. And that's the packaging. Got them at Dollar Tree. Here is the bulb itself. It's this Globe brand. You can see the information there. Okay, I have the bulb powered up. It looks like your typical 3000 Kelvin 60 watt equivalent bulb. But when I bring the camera in, I get a strong shutter effect. This camera operates at 25 frames. And of course my electrical frequency here is 60 hertz. And when I take it out, the shutter, actual shutter time is longer and you don't see any effect, but when you bring it in there, you get a strong effect. It tells me this might be one of those capacitorless type driver circuits. So, hmm, this, this might be interesting tear down here. Okay, so the line voltage here is 122.6. The wattage is 10.4. That's kind of high. A lot of uh, 60 watt LED bulbs these days are about eight and a half watts. I have some that go down to eight. So that's kind of disappointing on the power draw. And here is the power factor, 0.78. So it's kind of in the middle there. A lot of bulbs with the rectifier and filter capacitor will be in the 50s you know, 0.5 to 0.6 or so. Then the high power factor ones will be, you know, around 90 or higher, but this one's kind of in the middle. So, yeah, I think it's it might be one of those driverless type designs without a capacitor. It just has like a voltage regulator in there. But we will tear it down and see what's inside. And we're in. I'm kind of surprised there's actually two boards in this thing. There's this rectifier and filter board and the actual LED board itself with a regulator on it. So here is the schematic. 120 volts AC comes in here, goes through a fusible 10 ohm resistor, full wave bridge, 4.7 microfarad cap rated 250 volts, 130 degrees Celsius. That's good to see uh, high value like that. 510k ohm resistor just to make sure that's discharged. And also it, you know, it might help on circuits that have some leakage. It helps keep the LEDs from turning on a little bit. This shows the connection to the LED board. There's 15 surface mount LEDs and in each one there's actually two LED die and you know being about three volts each that would be 90 volts total across the whole string series string of LEDs and then on the cathode side of the LEDs it connects to this current regulator which this is the part number and I found the data sheet in Chinese so and you know, sometimes you can get a little bit of information off of that and the tab connects to the negative side of the supply and this resistor here sets your current I believe and it looks like it's 4.3 ohms so there you go a 50 cent LED bulb one dollar for a two pack at the Dollar Tree store are they any good? Eh, they're okay for the money. They do have a little bit of flicker, and I think the power draw is a little too much for a current model LED bulb. You know, this is 
2017 as I shoot this video and a typical 60 watt equivalent LED bulb would draw you know maybe seven or eight watts but you know drawing ten and a half watts is a little bit much so that's my opinion of them thanks for watching